Man, these games are fun and all, but I wish I could make my own games with my own ideas. My dream game. I hear you want to start making your own games. Yeah, I do, but I don't know how. I know someone who can teach you. Really? Who? Konita Tutorials. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Are you interested in creating your own video games, but just don't know how to make one? Well, this step-by-step -step tutorial series will teach you everything you need to know to make your own video game. To get started, we're going to need a game engine. There are plenty of choices out there, from Unity, to Game Maker, to Unreal Engine, and even Scratch, just to name a few. And for this tutorial, we'll be using Scratch. What's Scratch, you ask? Well, Scratch is a visual programming language used to create video games. Here's a preview of the game that you'll be creating in this tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll be using Scratch. And there are two ways for you to access Scratch. You can either go to the official Scratch page and download it there for free, or you can create an account and use Scratch Online. So first, let's start with using Scratch Online. So we're going to search Scratch in your search engine of choice and just go to the official Scratch page. And here we're going to have to create an account. So let me sign out of, of my account so you can see how it looks for you guys. If you already have an account, you would only have to sign in. But if you haven't created an account yet, yet, then we join Scratch. So let's create a username. A password. And then write the same password again. Once you've created your account, then we're going to go to where here where it says create. And this is where you're going to get the editor in order to create your projects. Let's say you want to use Scratch offline. Well, that will require you to download Scratch. So if we go here and search Scratch again, um, we'll go to here where it says download. Um, there are many versions of Scratch and you could use any version from one, two or even the and the latest one three but it would be more preferred for you to use three as that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial but you can use any as scratch really changes things so dramatically there are only a few changes that are different between the different versions and those changes won't really be be shown or used that much during this tutorial so i re recommend you use scratch 3.0 and just click direct download. That will download for you the latest version of Scratch. Now that we finally had our Scratch download finish, we're here met with the installation process. So just choose which option fits you and click install and say yes. And then we let our Scratch program install and that's it. Once it finally installs, just run Scratch at the same time um, as you click finish and there we go there's scratch only program you're gonna need in order to follow this tutorial so thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your day please don't forget to like if you enjoy the video and subscribe to stay in tune for the next episode of our scratch tutorial goodbye